So I'm looking for an interesting um, restaurant stroke cafe in Cardiff and I thought of this place. Would you be okay with me coming in in January and doing a picture? Yeah. It's really exciting. I just, it's so exciting. The scale of it as well. And it's, it's really expanded um, my horizons. Yeah, this is even nicer than I remember it, actually. I think I was probably a bit drunk when I came here last. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've got some news. I've um, found out this week that um, the work that my, my current project unseen is going to be shown in the South Bank Centre. All right. Way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was an experience watching you grow up. Doing all the yeah. physics and chemistry involved with photography, and I, I, I struggled with that at first. You go. didn't struggle, you were awful. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I was just immensely proud of you. Yeah, we could do a picture with you, Dad. No, I think you could be on the South Bank Centre. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to see a big picture of me. <laughs> <coughs> And your mum. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> right. Thanks, you. Okay. Yeah. In my first project, I didn't ever imagine putting photographs of myself on exhibition. Absolutely not. It was a real thing to then work with other people to share their experiences and to illustrate their struggles. What was it, three hour drive, three and a half hour drive to come to a really generic pub <laughs> with a really generic wall, which, which has got a tiny, tiny space. <laughs> Obviously, like I have a stammer, and then people kind of don't know that having a stammer can also cause like things like social anxiety. It's really looking at what's happening in the internal views of, of like someone who has social anxiety. It can be quite overwhelming. It's like, it's like with my mum, you kind of think, yeah, well, this will happen and then this will happen. And then they just die. And then... I just found out one of my closest friends has died. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's just been a bit... I'm so sorry. I suppose that's the kind of benefit of, of doing stuff that's related to sort of mental well-being and, and as, you know being open about your feelings. It's the kind of work that you can turn up and rock up and be like, hey, do you know what? I just found out my, one of my best friends has died, so 
I'm not, you know. Well, every time I've been talking with family and friends about it, I've been really struck by how this pandemic has affected everybody, like ev absolutely everybody. I feel that the work is even more poignant. It's a sort of a sense of survival of going, right, well, I have done everything I need to do to make sure that me and my loved ones and everything are safe. Yeah, it's like everybody's locked away from each other behind closed doors, but everyone's going through really different struggles. My dad is, he is so, so vulnerable to this. Um, it could be really serious if he falls ill with COVID. Okay. <coughs> it's just worrying. It's just really, really worrying. He's been confined to the bed a lot more than he ever was. I'm really grateful that as a family, me and my brothers have really pulled together caring for him. But the reality is the bad days are getting more frequent now. I found a real emotional connection with all the people I'd be photographing. I connected really strongly with, with Abby and with Jade over grief and loss. I'd never lost anyone significant in my life before my mum died. And it's something I'm still dealing with now. And you're feeling vulnerable and you're feeling frightened. Mm -hmm. Of course, the project's not just about grief. There were so many other unseen struggles. I really, really hope that my photographs do justice to people's experiences. Okay, and head back a little bit more. Okay. How are you feeling? You're gonna pull yourself up? Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Up, 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 up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Up, 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 further, further, further. That's it. Okay. Uh, check at this point. Do you need to go to the toilet or anything? Take your seat off. That's it. There's a real emptiness, loneliness, that the image has to deal with. Which is so in keeping with what London is like at the moment, isn't it? It feels like, it, it feels really appropriate somehow. A person leaning into the parts of themselves that they're not that comfortable with, but also seeing someone who's quite at peace with doing so now. Yeah, I think I am a carer. That side of me has definitely come out in this project. I do think there's a lot to be said for um, when you've gone through difficult times yourself, it does increase your ability to empathize. Certainly experiences that I've had makes me a lot more empathetic and a lot more caring for people's, other people's struggles because I've struggled myself. Hey. Hi. 
are you doing? I'm doing all right. Good, good, good. Guess where I am, Dad? Where are you? I'm in London. I'm at the South Bank Centre. Wow. Do you want to see the pictures? Yeah, I do. Okay. I've never seen it. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around, okay, and then you'll be able to see. It's a bit dark. Oh, Dad, you pause the video. What are you doing? You're in technology. Right, are you ready? Okay, I'm just... No, no, you don't have to do anything, Dad. You just have to look at the phone, okay? You just carry on looking at the phone. Right. Can you see some stars? Yeah. Okay, right. Making these pictures just means so much to me. It's really helped me make sense of my own struggles. It's really helped me pull through. Thank mm -hmm. you.